Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. All right. So any questions? We ready to do this? We we gonna get into it? We, uh, I don't know. You you we, get we, me nervous now. We, we, about to, we about we about to we about we about to we about to jump into it. You ready? Ooh, who is that DJ like that? Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Lockout Man here, back again with another podcast for you guys. I am Lockout Man, and I want to welcome you guys to the Lockout Man podcast show right here in good old Illinois, being stuck at this uh, Pepsi place, and they haven't even started the road, but we're going to get there, but... On today's podcast, I have another interview for you guys. And see, I, 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 I tried to pronounce her name, but I'm going to let her pronounce her name. How do you pronounce your name? My Sheree. My Sheree. Okay. The, yes. My Stevie Wonder song, My Sheree Amore. My Sheree. So what we want to do is... Welcome, my Cherie, to the podcast. Oh, wait a minute. But anyway, here we go. Now, what I like to do is welcome my Cherie to the show. <laughs> the trucker's accountant. The trucker's accountant. She's She's here to come and talk about how she can help truckers go from seven uh go to seven figures with her seven figure roadmap and gps method so she's here to talk about how she can help your trucking company grow my sheree how you doing today i'm doing fantastic how are you i am fine thank you thank you i do appreciate you coming on and uh and uh talk to us i about, appreciate you having me not a problem talk to us about uh about what you do out here so without further ado uh well let's let's give a little background about yourself so what uh you know where you where you from initially i am originally from chicago illinois oh you oh you from here okay okay well where you yeah yeah where, where are you at where are you at now I am in um, Metro Atlanta, right outside of Atlanta, in Douglasville, Georgia. All right. So I, I talk to a lot. I tell my I tell my truckers I'm about Fulton Industrial. Okay. I, I I talk to a lot of females that's that's in the industry, and majority of them had migrated down to Georgia. You being from Chicago, what what was the lure of Georgia for you? I um. Just to be completely transparent, I am from uh, Chicago Southside. Mm -hmm. uh, so once I finished college, I had a, a daughter, and I did not want to raise my family back in the hood. Oh, okay, okay. So um, I visited Atlanta. I think I visited Atlanta the summer before I, when I graduated, and I got down here. And you talking about Southern hospitality? Like people were speaking. It, it was just a different feel. I didn't have to be on guard all the time. And um, I was like, okay, we need to, we need to move because you know, once you, 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 if you stay where you're at, you'll go back. So if I was to go back to Chicago, I probably would have went right back to the South side of Chicago. But because I moved to a new place, I don't, I know, I don't know those things and they're not similar to me. I moved to a different environment. Okay. Okay. So uh, you you and uh, you and your family migrated down there. How how long have you been down there? How, how have you been down there since? I've been here uh, for eleven years now, oh. almost twelve years. Okay, okay. Southern hospitality down in Atlanta. All right. So uh, you're you're an accountant. Is this your is this your own business that you run or do you work for an accountant and you run it out of there? This is my own business. All right. All right. So, uh, mm -hmm. so do tell, uh, what, what, uh, what do you do for, for, uh, 
truckers? Uh, so I help trucking companies to scale their businesses to seven figures with my seven figure roadmap and my GPS method. Mm -hmm. So basically what that is, is over the years, I've had a lot of trucking companies that I work with where they have all this money coming in. I call it being paper poor. You, you're balling on paper, okay. but you don't know where the money is at. Hmm. So I created, um, uh, my GPS workbook where you go through and you write out your plan mm -hmm. so that if you're not hitting those markers, one, you know exactly where you're going. Okay. So when you talk to a trucking company and they say, well, how much money? I say, well, how much money do you want to make? And they just have ballparks. And if you're going to really take this business to a next level, you need to know that number. Like, you know, your social security number, mm -hmm. you need to know where you're going. Uh, so we basically go through that, get that seven figure roadmap set up for them and then give them the, the plan on how to get there. So you pretty much show me, you tell, you have the vision and I just show you how to get there financially. Okay. Okay. So you saying seven figures, we, we, we upped it from six to seven now, huh? Exactly. You, you know what? Because if you're in the transportation industry, you own a trucking company, you know, it's nothing to bring in six figures. Right. Right. Nothing. You can accidentally make six figures. Right. Right. Everybody 1099 say six figures. OK. OK. Uh, I'm we're trying to take it to the next level so you, where you're you're bringing in those that that seven figure income, that multi, you know, from one step to the next. And it's basically so you're able to put your business on autopilot. All right. I'm teaching you how to put on your CEO hat. Take off the worker bee hat. Put on your CEO hat. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So did you did you start all this? Uh, did did you start all this when you when you landed in Atlanta, or did you did you start did you started this when when uh when you was up here in Chicago? Uh, it all started in Atlanta. Well, I would say it started in Atlanta, but I've always been good with numbers. Always like to find loopholes on different tax strategies. Like I listen to tax strategies in my, <laughs> in my ear. My husband's always like, are you really relaxing and listening to tax strategies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do to help to just to scale. Um, and so I started off my, I was a stay at home mom and I have already always been doing it, but I ended up being a stay at home mom because we are from Chicago. We didn't have any family in Atlanta, so I stayed at home. Mm -hmm. um, and then once my daughter got about two years old, I was like, I need to go and talk to adults. Okay. <laughs> I need an adult conversation. Okay. Um, so I went and during that time, I started working at Liberty Taxes, mm -hmm. um, kind of learned the basics from there. And it just, I was also getting my master's at the time, getting my master's in finance. And it just, it just clicked. It was like, oh my God, I have found my happy space. Accountant helping, uh, helping clients out, helping, helping clients to save and take their business to the next level. I had found my happy place. Okay. So from there, I've been pretty much building. Uh, the, what really got me into trucking is that my husband had a couple of trucking buddies. They were like, hey, um, uh, you, we need your okay, help. Okay. Can you help us out? I was about to ask you. I, I was about to ask you what was the door <laughs> for you to for you to start just dealing with uh with truckers. Um, not only that, but I mean, not only truckers, but do you deal with other clients as well, or is truckers just your main source of uh of revenue? I I do assist other clients, but I I like to. I like to geek out on trucking. I like to know everything trucking. And I feel like it's going to be beneficial for my clients that I know everything. So I don't want to do another client of this justice uh, and not do as much research. So I, I try to stay in my lane because mm -hmm. this is the lane that I know. Mm -hmm. um, but I do, I do assist other, other, um, other companies, companies, other businesses, but but majority of my clientele, I have about 98%, about 98% of my clientele are trucks. Oh, okay. Now you, now you mentioned your husband, uh, knowing, uh, a lot of trucker buddies, uh, is, is he a truck driver or, or no? He's uh, an investor. Oh, okay. 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 
Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, what about yourself? Are are you a truck driver? I am not a truck driver. Okay. I cannot. Let me tell you, I don't even like to drive cars. Okay. <laughs> if I can get chauffeured, I will. I'm that person. <laughs> so there's no way I'm going to go drive a truck. Okay, <laughs> but I appreciate the people who do it. Okay. It's just not for me. I'm going to count the numbers. You can back that thing up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, so the success of it, the, so the success of your company depends on the uh, success of the trucking company. So, uh, out of out of all the clients that you successfully helped, uh, they they refer you to other business to keep you going. Yes, that's that's majority of my clientele. The referral basis. Um, we offer referral fees for people who bring us on, uh, bring us on and introduce us to other people. But and and I'm, I hear what you said. I'm glad that you said that. Like my my business only thrives if I help other clients. Mm-hmm. So my goal isn't to make a certain amount. I don't put a dollar amount on it. My goal is to help fifty trucking clients take their business to the next level. Oh, okay, okay. That's my goal. Fifty trucking clients to help to scale their business. So that's seven figures. Because okay. if I meet, if, if I help you to meet your goals, then I automatically meet my goals. Awesome, awesome. So break down this uh, this method that you that you put together this this roadmap and and G, GPS method. Break that down for us. How, how would you you know oh. walk walk me through a typical uh, meeting? I guess. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm gonna break it down to you, but we also offer. I have a live webinar that I do, and I, I really go into depth about it, okay. so that you can see it. I let you know people take notes on it and everything. But the GPS method is basically um, the first part of. Oh, you sound, the G. Sound, and I always sounds like you, it sounds like you're far away from your phone. Are you on a headset? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Talking to the mic. There you go. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't do anything different. No, it sounds like you was far away when when you was about to explain the GPS mm-hmm. method. All right, go ahead, go. Okay. All right. All right. So the first part of my GPS method is the G, and well, I tell my clients that you need to cut on your GPS. Like my name is Sherry. I'm like, uh, Sherry, where do I go? Mm-hmm. Right. You hear about MapQuest? Okay. Okay. MapQuest. You have to print out the instructions. Write it out. The GPS method is I'm going to tell you how to get there. Okay. Okay. So the first part of the GPS method is the G and that stands for growth. And that's basically evaluating your business. Where's your business at? Where do you want it to go? Then we sit, then it goes into setting your plan. How much do you want to make? Once you set your plan on how much you want to make, then we go into uh, profit planning. And that's where we go and dive in deep into where's the money leaking at? How can you save some money? How can you pivot if you need to pivot? Where are you where where are you missing out? We go and we plan all the profits from A to Z. The next step is your systems Mm -hmm. because no one can scale. If you are the if you are the one doing all the work in your business, you cannot scale. That's not how millionaires are born. That's not how millionaires scale their businesses. In order to make a million, you have to automate and put people in place. I tell them you got to build your dream team. Okay. You you build your systems and you build your dream team. Make sure you have everything written down from A to Z. So if you step away from your business, whether that is on a vacation or you have to go and have a family emergency, your business runs without you. Okay. Okay. So that that is that is the GPS method in a nutshell. I um we have uh, I have a live webinar coming up. I can give you the link to it and uh, it's actually this Wednesday coming up at 7.30, and I walk through the GPS method, what you need to look at, what reports you need to look at, what are what are the key things you need to look at in your business to help it run. Okay. All of those things we take a look at. Okay, okay. And th- th- this this information that you're giving out is very good. I mean, I you know, it, it kind of, if I decide to go uh, – to go, to go to owner out route, I, I I would think I would want you as my accountant. Huh. Yeah, I'm 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 glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling that. I'm feeling that. Um with what what with accounting firms, uh what what makes you particular? What makes you stand out from other accounting firms that offers help for truck drivers? 
It, you want to know what's crazy? I, I literally ask my clients this all the time on my, on my business evaluation. What, what helps you to stand out amongst all the truckers? All the trucking companies, what help you to stand out? Mm-hmm. So I would say that what helps me to stand out is my secret sauce. And my secret sauce is my GPS method, teaching you how to do it. Because you can get into trucking and you can, within two, three months, you can lose your trucking business and not know how you lost your trucking business because mainly people are looking at uh, getting the loads, getting the loads, and they're not looking at the numbers. Exactly. And the numbers is where, where that's the foundation. That's where you need to be, begin. The numbers are going to tell you the story. I can look at someone's reports. I can look at someone's expenses and immediately tell them what's going on, where they're lacking, what are they missing, what are you not counting? Because a lot of times people come in and they say, oh, I have these expenses, and I can look at your expenses and see that these expenses are, you're missing some expenses. So that, that I would say that that was the GPS method and me knowing me, me knowing exactly what to do, my years in the trucking industry, being able to identify it, uh, save, and, and working with my clients on a one-on-one basis to help them to take their businesses to the next level. Okay. And, and I'm not, and that's not to put down any person that is they specialize in trucking, any account, any tax professional. If they specialize in trucking, then they're good. All right. It, it's the it's the general accountants that worry me if a person says they specialize in trucking then they probably know a lot of a lot of the work so i'm not here to to down any tax professional or accountant i would say that if you have a trucking professional that offers those things and they are niche down the next thing you need to look at what personality fits you who would you prefer to work with because you work with an accountant this is the person that will know all of your personal information exactly who do you jail with Exactly. So the, Who, who's going to tell you the truth? The, the, account, the accountant <laughs> is the one that handles all the money. You know what I'm saying? I, I would assume. Yeah. Right. Uh, is it is it safe to say, because I always been saying this, I, I was an owner, owner operator, not in the trucking industry, but I had my own business uh, doing the uh, uh, roadside assistance. And I always mm-hmm. I always say and, you know, I always say and in, in, in my advice that I give to people is that you have to have more than one account, uh, checking account, banking account, have one for savings, have at least three for banking, you know, one for your personal, one for your business and one for your business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Am, I, mm-hmm. am I safe to say, am I safe to say uh, that's a good way to, 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 to maneuver your money? by having different accounts? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's actually what I teach in my program. <laughs> Crazy, right? I know, right? I teach you how to open up several accounts, how to open up several accounts and what percentages you need to allocate to the to that. Whether it's maintenance, whether it's pay, you need to pay yourself. What profits are you bringing in? Have you put anything aside for taxes? Because you have to pay taxes. Exactly. Especially in trucking. You pay if the taxes, you pay twenty two ninety. You have to put that money aside and you can't be taken from the tax money because the truck broke down. It needs to be separate. Exactly. Exactly. Do you do you offer services for for uh, for non owner operators like company drivers? Do you do you offer services for us? Company drivers. Uh, I, I do tax preparation for uh, company drivers. Oh, OK. And uh if you are a company driver that is a 1099, I have a digital course. It's QuickBooks for Truckers, and it basically shows you how to go through and run your QuickBooks from a trucking perspective. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. My Cherie, the trucker's accountant. Thank you very much for coming on, sharing your uh, your business with us. Um, Why don't you go ahead and... um. Let let these guys know where they can find you at. Where where's all your uh social media and uh and websites and everything? Okay. Uh I can be you guys can access me um uh, on I am on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook at the Truckers Accountant. Go ahead and look me up, follow me, like, 
subscribe so that you can get some good information. And then I wanted to extend the invitation for individuals who are uh, a part of your podcast and listening in. Go ahead and book a free consultation with me. I offer free 15 minute consultations. I would love to learn more about you and your business um, to see if we're a good fit to work together or not. If not, no hard feelings, you know, it, it, it's still a good, a good thing to talk to people, especially since I am doing my, uh, my CFO program. And I do feel like a lot of trucking companies can benefit. I know it can benefit. That's what's up. That's, that. that's what's up. Let me, oops, wait a minute. Wrong button. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Right button right there. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, my Sherry, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me on the Lockout Men podcast, or if you have any businesses that you want to promote, or if you want to just come on and just gel with me, you can get at me at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or over at Instagram where you could just hit Lockout Men. If you like this video or like what you hear, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, share, comment, share, comment, and hit that bell and that all button for more. I'm going to get my cousin or somebody to play me out. I'm going to get somebody to play me out. And while they playing me out, I want you guys to have a blessed day. Y'all take it easy. Until next time, I'll come at you guys with another video. Peace.